Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Words of Psalm 75 We praise you, God. We praise you, for your name is near. People tell of your wonderful deeds. You say, I choose the appointed time. It is I who judge with equity. When the earth and all its people quake, it is I who hold its pillars firm. To the arrogant, I say, boast no more. And to the wicked, do not lift up your strength. Do not lift up your strength against heaven. Do not speak so defiantly. No one from the east or the west or from the desert can exalt themselves. For it is God who judges. He brings one down, he exalts another. In the hand of the Lord is a cup, full of foaming wine mixed with spices. He pours it out and all the wicked of the earth drink it down to its very dregs. As for me, I will declare this for ever. I will sing praise to the God of Jacob, who says, I will cut off the strength of the wicked, but the strength of the righteous will be lifted up. We praise you, O God, for your name is near. Lord, in this season of Advent, we embrace the promise of your coming and wait with joy for your appearing. For you bring a light that casts out all darkness, showing us your mercy and your truth, drawing us into the transforming grace of your presence and the joy of your eternal life. And all through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord. Amen. Mark 13, beginning at verse 33. Be on your guard. Be alert. You do not know when that time will come. It's like a man going away. He leaves his house and puts his servants in charge, each with their assigned task, and he tells the one at the door to keep watch. Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know when the owner of the house will come back, whether in the evening or at midnight or when the rooster crows, or at dawn. If he comes suddenly, do not let him find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say to everyone. Watch. The coming of Jesus is often reduced to cute images of sentimentality. But the coming of God's Son to Bethlehem was an act of judgment as well as salvation. His light shines in darkness. His holiness confronts our sinfulness. His truth and purity enter a world of injustice and insincerity. The coming of Jesus calls everyone to account. The coming of Jesus calls us to be ready so what I say to you, I say to everyone, watch. Lord Jesus, our lives are shaped by the world in which we live. Our thoughts, words and actions are all caught up in the sinfulness of our humanity. But we long for your forgiveness, for the freedom that comes with your appearing. For the reassurance that your presence with us will bring us a salvation from above and a life that is everlasting. So with eager anticipation, we watch and pray and look for your coming, that we would be ready for Jesus our Saviour and our Lord. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, Find us watching and waiting. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.